Hey guys, Theme Holy on here for another Tuesday tutorial. Yay! So in front of me is like, you know, your average Tuesday tutorial thing I do, but prepare to be mindful. So usually, as you can see, there's just a bunch of random stuff scattered about that I've used for my other tutorials, but not anymore. In order to reduce all the clutter, I have built this. It's a tiny game, not nah, really. So if we climb down these stairs and through this hallway of magical magical light and we approach the end of this corridor welcome to the Tuesday tutorial hall which will I will from now on be using for all my Tuesday tutorials just cramming whatever down here it's still pretty bland I'll expand it and stuff later on but for now let's get to the tutorial so today's Tuesday tutorial is about horses as we can see down here we got a collection of some horses alright so if we check out this wall right here what the Oh, I forgot a frame. Uh, where is it? Ah, chests. Alright, if we check out this wall right here, we'll see all of these horse-related items. This you'll see later. Alright, so first of all, let's examine our horses. We got a smoky gray, we got a smoky grayish white spotted horse here, a uh, brownish blackish, a cow colored, a mule, a zombie horse, and a skeleton horse. These two um, can't ride them because they're like, you know, like they they can only they can only be summoned, so they're like special entities, I guess. All right. So first, we'll go on how to tame a horse. If you don't know tame a horse, you just right click it, you will ride it, and if I click F5 here, you will see those smoke particles. So you just keep trying to ride him, and to, and then he'll keep trying he'll keep bucking you off. And, uh, yeah. But, if I keep trying to ride him, eventually... Yeah, that'll happen. Hearts will come out. Hearts will pop out, which means that he, you have tamed him. So, at this point, we can take a... Oh, that's not good. At this point, we can take a saddle and uh, whatever horse armor you want. And we will simply right-click him. A well, holding saddle and bend. Now we can ride him and jump over this fence right here and the same goes for all of these but the mule is quite a stubborn one so to do that we'll need this just go in here with zero to take that and alright this mule is very very stubborn so in order to do that we will feed him a golden apple if you feed any horse a golden apple it'll um, increase the rate of success that you will tame him so let's do this Come on, Mule. Mule. Come on. So, no particles have come out yet. Let's just give it a few seconds. You know what, let's, hang on, let's try mounting him again. Ah, there you go. And bam, we have tamed the Mule. He cannot wear horse armor. So, oh, what? I just said he can't wear horse armor. Okay, so first we shift and right click to take his horse. And we'll give him a little a uh, little that, and we will take. Why am I still in F5? All right, we will take this chest here. If we equip this saddle, we can shift and right click with this chest too. Ah, there we go. We can just right click, and there we have it. Our personal mule with his storage space, and we can ride this dude. He can jump equally as high. Isn't as fast though, but it's definitely a good. He's definitely a good. Uh, a definitely good animal to bring along when you're making a long venture you need to carry extra items or food and stuff yeah alright now on to horse heart so if I go into game of zero and I ride my main horse here you'll see his hearts are right here these uh, weird um, orange things alright so this horses have hearts but different breeds of horses have different uh, amounts of hearts like this one. He has a full bar in one, but this one also has a full bar in one. But this one has a full bar. No one. The mule has, oh my god, mules have a lot of health. Yeah. Alright, so that's horse health. And lastly, let us spawn in a horse. And if you click a mob, oh if you click a mob, you will spawn in a baby version of that mob. If you click a mob while holding a spawn egg, it'll spawn in baby version. So, as you know, hay is for horses. So, let's take us some hay bale and feed it to this horse by right clicking. He will grow, you see, and grow and grow. 
and he'll grow to maximum size and then do that if you try to feed him. So, yeah, now you got yourselves a uh, fully, fully trained horse, or rather, when killed, horses drop leather and whatever saddle and stuff they're wearing. But this guy, when killed, will drop rotten flesh, and this guy bones. So, <clears throat> now let us, I guess there is one last thing to do, and that'll be to move on to leashing, actually. You know what, let's do leashing first. So, if you right-click a horse, you will leash it. As you can hear, see here, we will leash all of these. Can't leash these. We will leash all of these, and they will go flying, apparently. Up, up, and away. Oh, God. Alright, we shall now chain them to this fence right here in the sky. So, if you right-click a fence, if you right-click, or if you're holding a leash and you right-click a fence, then the um, <clears throat> leash will attach to that fence, as you can see here. Floaty horses. And, yeah. Last but not least, we will finally move on to these two skeleton and zombie horses. As I explained before, they drop, they drop rotten flesh and he drops bones, which he didn't drop for some reason. Bones. Anyways, <clears throat> so these guys can't actually be tamed manually, you have to summon them. So summon. As I explained this in my other previous video about slash summon, so I summon entity horse dash 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 curly bracket, and then we put type three for the zombie horse, comma riding no saddle one, comma tame one. Now this dude, if we right click him, he will be fully rideable, fully controllable, and he has. He has three bars, well, two and a half, anyways, of health. Now we shall go onto the skeleton horse by going back up to this command and changing the type to four. So my right arm, he he as well has this many hearts, but yeah, skeletons and zombie horses. One is uh, more undead, I guess if you like undead stuff, and the other ones I guess more bony, okay, like bony stuff. So yeah. So let's just uh, let me just show you around the cave for now. We have my uh, this Tuesday tutorial symbol up here, a uh, an employee on emblem here, some lighting, some more lighting, some crazy lighting, the hallway of that. Oh yeah, it's dark in here. The hallway of nightmare, this giant cave, this mini cave, and the main cave. So yeah, this was the uh, Tuesday tutorial haul, and the Tuesday tutorial about horses, and I will be using this from now on, so yeah, this concludes today's Tuesday tutorial on horses, and my kind of a showcase of my tutorial haul. So my name is The Napoleon, please leave a like to this video, please subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and thanks for watching, and bye.